Ignore NeoGAF as much as you can. <laughs> You're probably wondering to yourself, just what exactly is NeoGAF? If your first answer was a site owned and maintained by a rapist, you would of course be wrong. The owner isn't a rapist, he's just a cunt. A cunt who allows pedo apologist shit, and a cunt who bans anybody with a differing opinion. The users, on the other hand, they're a bunch of retarded, autistic wankers. When they're not white knighting Anita Sarkeesian and her bullshit, they're defending a fat fucking scammer who essentially stole $4 million to release what looked like a $5 game. Also, let's not forget their battle cry to get John Tron booted off a game because he dared to have an opinion that didn't fit lockstep with their bullshit fucking narrative. What made their autistic screeching even more egregious is the fact that the cunts at Playtonic actually fucking listened to them. Not only did they release some horseshit statement condemning the evil racist known as JonTron, but then their fucking publisher got in on it and started shitting on people who paid money and wanted refunds. This fucking cunt here is called Jono Vanguard. And he works for Team17, who is the publisher of said game. This prick took an almost delightful glee in telling people to go fuck themselves when they ask for a refund. And then once this blue-haired prick started getting shat on by the community, he did what any other of these cunts usually do in that situation. He just started blocking people. What a fucking pussy. I watched the John Tron and Destiny debate, and while John Tron did say some stupid shit, I think the thing that was exposed the most about him is how terrible of a debater he was. He allowed Destiny to take control, and then got backed into a corner and said some stupid shit. We all do it, and that doesn't make us racist. It only makes us human. And just like that blue-haired cunt who was reveling in people's misery and misfortune, just look at the reaction of some of these fucking retards. These people have no self-awareness. A toaster! is more likely to get self-awareness before any of these fucks ever do. But I bet you're thinking, surely their autism only extends to themselves and YouTube celebrities, right? <laughs> You'd be wrong. They also regularly ban developers. Remember Cliffy B? That arrogant cunt who made those Gears of War games? Yeah, they banned him too. And when he called him out about it, they accused him of being jealous because he wasn't there anymore. What a bunch of elitist cunts. Guess they'll just uh, call it a fair ban then and claim he was a misogynist or a sexist or a racist. I mean, just look at these self-important cunts. And at this point, I don't even care if people want to scream ad hominem, you're attacking the people, not the argument. I mean, just look at these wankers. It looks like the government shut down one of their uh, gene therapy underground labs and released all these fucks into the daytime. I mean, these people are fucking shameless. They cry endlessly about social justice and feminism and equality. And the second somebody doesn't tow the fucking line, they get dogpiled on and booted out by these fucking autistic retards who think posting these fucking idiotic selfies unironically is actually some goddamn kind of achievement. And to think people wait years to get into this fucking website. What the fuck are you waiting? These people have no scoops. They have no new news. They just fucking go to shitty sites like Polygon, IGN, recycle the same crappy stories, and then try to pass it off as their own. If I wanted to read the 50,000th goddamn article about why this person's not this gender or that gender or tri-gender or triangle fag or circle fag, I'd go to fucking Kotaku. I can get my fucking fill of SJW bullshit there. I don't need it recycled to me by transsexuals and degenerates and feminists and whatever the fuck else is hanging around on that shithole of a site. Fuck NeoGAF, fuck its users, and fuck everything it stands for. Ignore NeoGAF as much as you can. But if you ever wanted to debate one of these fuckheads and wait the 12 years it takes to activate your account, I'm sure it would work out something like this. For death is eternity, after death is eternity, there is no, no death, death there's only eternity. eternity, and I ride the wings of eternity like, yeah, yeah, yeah! 
Shaklak clack. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh.